Hey guys, so today we're going to be building a hard top holder for your Miata out of PVC. Um, it cost me less than $30 to build, so let's go ahead and make one. So this is all of the stuff that you'll need. Um, I've pre-cut all my PVC, and I'll put everything um, in the description or right after this, telling you exactly what lengths you need and how much stuff to buy. What you're gonna to want to start with is a T and your six inch. Put that in there like that, and then put another T facing like this. So this will actually be the very front support. Then, right behind that, you're gonna take your 12 inch piece, put it in there, another T fitting, facing it upwards. So you should be just about this. Then, your 90 with a one inch, or I'm sorry, a two inch uh, piece on the back side, and that's gonna create your leg on the very bottom. So we're gonna do the exact same thing. So T fitting, six inch, T fitting, 12 inch, T fitting, two inch, and then a 90. So that right there is going to be your base. To do the middle piece, what you're going to want to do to create the inner support is put your two inch piece in the middle here, and then two T fittings at a slight angle. So now what you're going to want to do is take your 26 and a half inch pipe and put this together with these two to connect them. So that right there will give you your base. So now on the back side, you're gonna take 23 and 1 fourth and set these in here. Two T fittings facing each other. And then, let's see, 18 and 1 fourth that go on top of these like that. Now we have this one, which is 33 and a half inches. Now I'm not going to connect these really too much right now, but this will give you the main part. For the top section, this is going to go onto the top, two inch coupler in, in the middle, and then they're T fitting like that. That's going to go here on both sides. Now you're going to take your 26 and a half inch and put this into the middle here as well. So now you're going to take your two 45 inch pipes and you're going to set them into these. Now my angle's off on this so I got to change this. Pop that in there. Then all you need to do is just angle this so that they line up with the top. So now the top piece that you made is going to go here. So when you push everything down, it'll lock everything into place. Now once all that's basically roughed up, what you can do is you can take your mallet and start tapping everything in. You'll see that it shrinks quite a bit. So basically we went ahead and cut this and it was about 36 and a half inches from side to side. And we got the stuff that is sticky and it sticks to each other, that way it'll close off. And this is where the top sits, like the window and all that. That way it doesn't get messed up at all or anything. We're also going to do this on the bottom. Now Tyler went ahead and cut this to 8 inches. I mean, you can do whatever you feel is right. I know they sell T foams as well. They're just a bit more expensive. I'm just going to cut it a little bit here up against that. That way 
I can get it to seal here at the bottom, but there's still protection up on top. So it sits just on this. So it really doesn't take that long to do. <clears throat> Probably took us, I don't know, say an hour to cut all the PVC and everything and put it together. Um, you can put the foam wherever you like. You can get more and cover the whole thing. Um, but that's how you make it. It's really sturdy. I mean, like, as you can see, it doesn't move that much. That's how it is. Comment below if you like it. Let me know if you need any help. But I'll put in the description below what you need to make it and all the size PVCs that you need to cut. Later.